First at 10, the desperate search for a mother and her young son kidnapped at gunpoint. Phones were going off all over the state earlier today with the Amber Alert of Samantha Adams and her one-year-old son, both taken at gunpoint from a home in Commerce City. That suspect is Samantha's ex-boyfriend. Stan Bush live at the house in Commerce City for us tonight. And Stan, it's been 10 hours, no sign of the mother and son. And Karen, police are releasing few details about the moments before that kidnapping at this home behind me. Now there is a statewide search for a mother, a son, and a suspect they know well. Adams County investigators say just before noon, Mauricio Venzer Gonzalez held Samantha Adams at gunpoint and then kidnapped her and their son, Zaheed, who's a year and a half old. I just know that she was his ex-girlfriend. Um, they have obviously this the one son together. I don't know their history of the relationship. An Amber Alert was issued. Gonzalez heading south on I-25 may have been trying to get to Trinidad, but his car was later found abandoned in Pueblo, where police are now scouring the area for him. We do have reason to believe that Mauricio is still armed with a gun and is considered to be dangerous. The suspect is 22. He's 5 foot 6 and 130 pounds. He was last seen wearing a black hat and may have shaved his head. Investigators say he may still be with Adams and her son. We do know that Samantha on her right wrist has a cancer surviving tattoo um, and a butterfly. So if you see anyone matching that description, please call in. The kidnapping happened at Samantha Adams' parents' house. Neighbor Kevin Cowan says he saw the suspect often. I've seen the boyfriend come and go, you know, and they've had arguments, little arguments, you know, and little spats coming and going. Police are hopeful that the suspect at this point has not left Pueblo. If you have any information, call police. And if you see the suspect or the two people who he's kidnapped, call 911.